Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Okay, so I think the next card to do is the Z80 card. We have two Ithaca audio cards. This one is okay. I've started to put stickers on the ones that are okay. I'm losing track. This one is not okay. This is the one that was missing the 8224, which I did order. Um, the guy in Bulgaria accepted my uh, offer, so I've got 10 of those in the mail. But uh, the back of this card has a bunch of cut and jumps, which are part of the manual. Uh, so they're factory cut and jump recommendations. And um, we should be able to just swap the, since everything's on socket, so I can just swap the 8224 over just to test it until we get them in stock. And uh, see if we can't get this one up and running. We'll have uh, two of those working. All right, here are the instructions. Of course, hand typed back in the day, there was no more processors. Um, so, uh, the um, revision um, is for uh, our, our board is 1.3, so all of these revisions we can skip. So, um, we start here, and it says to uh, cut one trace uh, here, and then. Um, add a trace, uh, add a wire, add two wires, and then, I see 17, yep, 18, that's it, for boards, cut the connection, let's see, for boards before, so we don't have to do that, uh, let's see, on the boards, Numbered revision 1.3, this trace does not exist. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and that uh, looks like it's it. Now, I think ours has more than that. Let's take a look. Let's see. All right, so, oops. So this is our board. Um, we have 13, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, maybe, anyway, there's a, a cut right here, that's the cut that it wants us to do, and this card has that, so, and it wants us to do, um, this jumper here. And this jumper here, and that's all that one has. Now this one, this card has a couple more cuts over here, and jumps, and a couple more over here. So we have to figure out what's going on there. We'll have to search the internet so we can find a more up-to-date manual on on why these were done. All right, um, these jumpers here. Um, they have to do with the uh, uh, 2708, and I believe that's the conversion to use a 2716 IC instead. So I'm not going to worry about those jumpers since I'm not going to use the ROM. And uh, these two jumpers here, I believe, may be associated with the same thing, maybe addressing. Um, so only these two wires and the one cut is needed to complete the um, uh, revisions per their document. So we're going to start with that first. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is um, change the crystal, which um, on the board that we're trying to resurrect is a, a 36 megahertz crystal and that makes the card run at 4 megahertz. Um, the card that we have tested good is an 18 megahertz crystal which allows it to run at 2 megahertz. Um, so I believe from my M side we'll just stick with, with 2 megahertz and we'll change this crystal to, a, to an 18. We'll have to find another 18. Maybe take a trip to the uh, junk stores here and find some 18 megahertz crystals since they seem to be popular. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just try those out. 
um, swap over the clock chip and see if this thing runs. Okay, um, so oops, I couldn't find a uh, 18 megahertz crystal. I had a whole bunch of Arduino uh, 16 megahertz crystals, so that's uh, close enough. I'll have to go to the store and buy some 18s, but we have the 16 uh, 60 megahertz, which is pretty close to 18. And on the uh, back side, we did the cut and jumps. Um, and there's one odd pin. There's a, a pin that's been uh, redirected outside of the socket, and both boards are that way. Um, so I'll leave it that way for now. It may have something to do with that cut and jump that was done for the um, for the 2708. But we'll, yeah, should I put it back in? Hmm. I'll leave it out for now. We'll give it a try. Put it in uh, if uh, if it's just not doing anything. So we'll we'll remove the uh, uh, 8224 out of the good board and put it in here. Right. Uh, oops. I don't know why we. Oh, I have the autofocus on. Usually I turn the autofocus off, but. Alright. Uh, otherwise, well, the. All the uh, switches are just for the uh, bank select for the ROM. We're not going to be using that. And. Um, yeah, let's plug it in, try it out. All right. That's an 8080. And in with a Z80. That's not acting right. That's not acting right. Alright, let's uh let's stick that one pin in just for fun. Sorry for my back. a little better. Oh, that's perfect. That might actually work. All right, let's uh, write a program. Uh, 333 FF 323 FF 30300 Run, go. Yes, it works. All right, so now we have two uh, Z80 cards of uh, Ithaca Audio. Excellent. Uh, so I'll be getting the 8224s from Bulgaria, and I'll make a stop at the junk shop and see if they have something close to 18 megahertz. Um, we might try that uh, 36 megahertz uh, part just to see what 4 megahertz does. Maybe it might bring my system to its knees, but. Uh, it might be interesting. We have two cards, right? We have uh, two Ithi Ithaca audio cards. We could have one at 18 uh, megahertz and one at 36 megahertz. So one will be effectively 2 megahertz and one will be 4 megahertz. Yeah, let's do that. Got nothing else to do. Okay, I uh, put the old uh, 36 megahertz crystal in here. So let's see if we can see if we can run at 4 megahertz. Well, 
that's running at 4 megahertz, but can we boot can we boot CPM? I'll turn the uh, disk drives on. No. <laughs> No. It doesn't like it. Doing flashy lights things, but it's just too fast. It's not the disk drives aren't going to keep up with the. Uh, yeah. Disk drives aren't going to keep up with it. Let's put our two megahertz back inside. Oh, I need to uh, move over the clock chip. Back. Okay. Our 2 megahertz Z80 back in. Yep, works just great. So I guess I'm limited to uh, 2 megahertz. Um, some of the Z80 cards allow you to insert weight states. Um, so if you have one particular device that's slow, you can wait state it. And, um, I don't believe these cards have any. Oops, not that one. I don't believe these cards have any jumpers like that. No. Some of the fancier, older, uh, older, um, not older, um, more recent. Z80 cards did have a bunch of configuration stuff, but not the old ones. Um, so I'll just have to find an 18 uh, megahertz crystal and wait for our Bulgaria parts and get that up and running. <laughs>